Welcome to this short video. My name's Richard and today we're going to have a look at some tips to make your day-to-day -day use of Vulkan more efficient. Firstly you'll notice on the left that I don't have in my Vulkan Explorer all of the Vulkan file types that you may have and what I've done here is just turn off the options that I don't use from the settings there. So if you know you never use block models Removing that from the list will just help remove some of the clutter and help find the files more quickly. Even with that, you may get very long lists of files such as I have in my triangulations. So keep in mind, just clicking on a folder or a subfolder will bring up the search. And that can be on a full file name or part of a file name to help you load up what you want. That's great if you remember what you've called it, but if you haven't been very strict when making files, you may be better to find something based on what it looks like. And the thumbnail view is very good at that. You can search on any of the file types. So from our design data or triangulations, I can see that's the pit I'm after and load it like so. With everything you want on screen, it helps to be able to jump between your sections or your views very quickly. And these in an open pit may be your levels. And I've just set up some levels like so. And if you don't have this viewing toolbar, it is just the load view toolbar there. And this can store sections or any view that you like, just when you make a new view. So in this case, a section for the 185 level. When you're happy with it, just hit the save and that will become available on that list. At any time in Vulkan, you can rotate whether you're in section or in plan. And there are a few shortcuts that will help with this. Firstly, C, the C on your keyboard will let you change your rotation point at any time. And once you have a rotation point set, you don't need to use the icons on the right hand side toolbar. You can just hit the Alt key or hold down the Alt key to get into rotate at any time. When your view's right and you're ready to do your, your editing on the data that you've found, finding the tool to use can be difficult through the long lists if you don't remember what it's called. And a couple of options to help are the, the search icon or the search option in the top right hand corner. If you can't see it, F3 will bring that up. So if I'm looking for an interpolate tool to interpolate extra points, typing that in will find all of those tools. If you do have tools that you're using all the time, perhaps you have a, a little workflow you're repeating, it can help to make your own menu with that. So I have a pit volumes menu where I've just grouped the tools I use for getting those volumes together. Similar to that is a command list, which doesn't just give you a list of options, it puts it into a a workflow which will automatically go from one step to the next. To set either of these up, it's just in the Workbench Customize menu. So for my toolbar, menu or command list, I can just add or edit these. If I wanted a triangle solid volume tool, I could just find that from the menus. I know it's in model triangle solid, volume, and I can just add that to that toolbar, menu, or command list. Hopefully you've got something that will help make your Vulcan usage a little quicker. And remember to contact your local MapTech office for any questions or support. 